Okay, I'm back. I got knocked off. So things happen. Oh, I'm sweating. Because I have these uh, lights on. So anyway, <laughs> let me start over. I'm Carol Dunlop. I am the VP of Marketing and Publications of Creative Services International, which is my company that I've had with my husband for 22 years. <laughs> and I'm also known as your unmarketing shero. So if you're ready to make money online, I will show you wow. So I did that much better this time than I did before. I was talking with a good friend, friend of mine, Bernadette Harris, and we were both talking about how we have this aversion to live streaming. Even though I love video, I love doing video and being in video and stuff, just the live streaming when it's on my part, me initiating it, it's just something about it we're, we're trying to get past. And we said we got to do this. We just got to do it. So Bernadette, I'm letting you know I'm here. And I will be on Facebook Live every day after this, this week, talking about building your brand and especially building your brand using social media. I have a brand new class, master class coming up this Thursday. And I want you to go to CSICorporation.com slash social media, find out all about it, sign up, it's free, where I'll be teaching you or you can discover ways to build your brand using social media. Now before, before I was so rudely interrupted by Facebook, I was talking about what Sheryl Sandberg has taught me about building my brand. And I got through point one. So let me repeat that. Point one is she is unapologetic for her awesomeness. She says what she believes. She believes what she says. She does what she wants. And she makes a lot of money at doing it because she is doing it big time. She's one of the women I really, really look up to online because you don't see a lot of women who are crushing it in business online. You see women who are in fitness, um, modeling their bodies, you know, get, getting a lot of likes and stuff for wearing scantily clad stuff, you know, that type of thing. But for really crushing it in the business, Sheryl Sandberg is doing it. She is a C, if you don't know, she's the COO of Facebook. She used to be the VP of online global sale, of global online sales at Google. So she really knows her way around uh, social media, online world, online business. And she's, like I said, unapologetic for it. I did do a, a blog post about it. I have three points that I put in there and the lessons that I learned from her. And you can see that at CSICorporation.com slash blog. Actually, if you go to the home page, it's right there. So I was relating to you how um, for 22 years I've had this business. In 2005, I started my other business, Optimal Body Sculpting, which I no longer actively market, but it's there. So if you need some health and fitness information, please all of it, you know, I can't help but give it to you. It will be there. So and in 2011, my husband suffered a stroke in January. And in July of that year, I was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer. So in keeping my businesses together, both of them, getting my husband through rehab, grueling rehab, eight hours a day, three, four days a week of rehab, trying to get his speech back, get his arm movement back, and being able to learn to walk again. We went through all that for four months and finally he went back to work. Yay, he went back to work. Things are going to be normal again. Yeah, right. Then and two months later, I was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer and then that whole thing, whew, that journey of the prodding and the needle pricks and the surgeries, the doctor's appointments, all that stuff kind of came back around and we had to go through it on my part this time. But I survived. I am cancer free. This is five years. I'm so woo. I'm so happy about that. So I'm glad that I can be here as a testament to God's great work and to let you know that if you are suffering from breast cancer or someone you know, just hey, keep it positive, keep it real, keep it moving, do what the doctors say. But most of all, follow your own mind, your own thoughts, research what you need to do, do it just so you can stay alive. I did have a uh, mastectomy. I had a bilateral mastectomy, but I did get reconstruction, loving that part. And now I'm here to talk to you about how to keep your business going, how to build your brand, how you can do it too, how you can do it even if you haven't gone through these terrible, tragic things that happen to people. Because we all suffer through something. We all go through something. We might not know what it is or or it may not be the same, but I say we all have to go through something in life to give us that, that grit that makes us keep going. And I tell you, I came out of that. My husband and I both came out of that with a renewed sense of purpose that we need to help everyone else live their 
dream, do what they want to do. And I'm doing what I want to do. I'm an entrepreneur. I am helping other entrepreneurs with the techie side of entrepreneurship. I just posted a couple of days ago how my good friend Anita Henderson led her first solo webinar. I was so proud of her. Yes, I worked with her. I designed her website for her. Well, CSI did. And which is me. <laughs> designed her website for her and helped her, coached her, counseled her through this whole process. And she did amazing. As a matter of fact, she had a sale before she even launched a product. Who does that? Who has a sale before they even do an official launch? And she wound up, I think, before she before she actually hit the button to go live, she, she got another sale. So I'm just totally stoked with her success. So anyway, using uh, what Sheryl Sandberg taught me about building your brain, just be unapologetic. And the main number one thing I want to say is to be you. Be authentically you, whoever you are. If you are bold, if you are brass, if you are a little bit getting on people's nerves and stuff, then just be that. Whoever you are, be that. If you're Miss Nicey Nice, if you're sweet, if you're whatever, you don't have to be the B word to be successful as a woman business owner. You just be who you are. Because the thing is, whoever you are, your people are going to find you and follow you. Because it's all about the know, like, trust, buy thing. So whoever you are out there, however you are, if you're if you're a little bit, you know, not quite nice then you're going to find the people who are not quite nice and want that type of thing. If you curse a lot and your brand has that in it, I know several. there are several people that I follow on social media right now that have multi-million dollar businesses and they, they drop some serious curse words sometimes and it's their brand, it's who they are, it's how they are. They're um, totally transparent in what they do and how they do it and they have people that follow them. So don't think that you have to change yourself in order to make your brand successful because your brand is you even though I'm in this company with my husband and myself it is a mixture of both of us he's more the laid-back behind-the-scenes type and I'm more out front in your face Miss Energizer Bunny but don't get it twisted my husband is fantastic and awesome at tech stuff and that's what he does he makes computers talk to each other he teaches entrepreneurs how to talk to the computers so they can talk to each other and he knows how to break it down in a way that anyone can understand it so me when I first got with him I had no idea really what a computer was or what it did I just knew it was a little box that had keys on the keyboard and things but he taught me every single thing that I know about techiness and I fell in love with it I wanted to do it more. That's why I am so ex successful at it right now. And that's why I can teach my clients to be successful with that also. So just the number one thing that I learned from Cheryl Sandberg is just be you. Be who you are. You know, unapologetically be who you are because your audience will find you. They will seek you out. As a matter of fact, your audience is waiting for you. That's what building your brand is all about. Your brand is, is what people think in their minds when they think about you or the name of your business is what they think about. So you have to control that. What do you want them to think? For me, I want people to think that, yes, I know about social media. I know how to do social media. I know how to help others do social media. I am techie. I love tech. I can teach you through tech. I can teach you how to use Webinar Jam, AWeber, MailChimp, Active Campaign, Entreport, uh, WordPress websites, YouTube, how to do your videos. You know, the list goes on and on. I can teach you how to do all those things and to do them well so that when you do finally launch your products, launch your website, launch your business, you will get a great return on your investment. Because doing that, building your brand, putting yourself out there takes a lot of time and energy. And yes, it could take a lot of money too, but it's going to take a lot of time and energy one way or the other. So doing that and putting that out there, hey, I can help you with that. So like I said, we're going to end this out. I didn't want to take up a lot of your time. I just wanted to come in and share that with you. Oh, I almost forgot the main thing. The master class. And I'm, if you want to know some more about building your brand using social media, those little tricks and, and things that nobody tells you about, what to post when, what software you need to use, where you're, how to find your audience, even who you are, then I want you to come with me, join me on this brand new free master class doing on Thursday at 12 30 and I'm back I had a little 
Hood Connection issue 12.30 in the afternoon on this Thursday, October 6th. If you go to csicorporation.com slash social media, you can sign up. It's absolutely free. So I will see you then. Thanks. Talk later.